Trust your first impression. What are you experiencing? I'm laying face up, mm -hmm. like facing the sky. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> In the forest. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. And it's very green. Um, Do you feel that you have a body there? I'm not sure. <clears throat> Go ahead and I'm... focus on yourself and see if you have a body of some type. I'm not... I'm not seeing it. I mean, mm -hmm. What do you feel? I feel like I... like I can't move. Mm -hmm. um, I, the only what I see is uh, like if I'm on the ground mm -hmm. and I see like a circle of trees and through the circle I can see the sky mm -hmm. um, but I can't look around okay do you feel like you're part of the ground I feel like I'm on it mm -hmm. you're on it so let's imagine yourself with a mirror above you so that you can look down at yourself. And what's the first impression that you get as you look down at yourself? What do you look like? The first thing I saw was um, I'm like a blue boy. A blue boy? Very yeah. good. Mm -hmm. Describe yourself. I have a, a one antenna short on the left side of my head. Mm-hmm. And I have no no hair, just a like a like a child. Mm-hmm. How old do you feel there? I would say like four or five. Mm hmm What else do you see as far as your body is concerned? Uh, I'm not wearing a shirt. I can't tell if I have like clothes on. Mm -hmm. What does it feel like? Do you need clothes? No, uh, doesn't feel like I do. Mm -hmm. Keep looking down at maybe your hands or your feet. <clears throat> tell me what they look like. Uh, I've got four fingers. Mm -hmm. And. I can't see my feet. Mm -hmm. What do your features look like? Look at your face. It's round. Round face? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Look at your eyes. What do they look like? They kind of look like human eyes. Mm hmm. About your nose and your mouth. A s small nose, mm -hmm. almost human-like, but just like the features of a child, kind of. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And what does your mouth look like? Not the same as mine now, but mm -hmm. smaller lips. Mm -hmm. Good. So let's see what you're doing in this place. Now that you've established that you have a body there, you could move around. Let's find out why you're there. What do you like about this place? It's quiet. Mm -hmm. There's no animal sounds. Tell me more. Uh kind of feels like I wandered in there like I I'm not I don't live there mm-hmm tell me the whole story of how you got there go back and see how you got to this place where are you 
not not seeing like it went feel like it went blank mm -hmm. mm. well, let's find out about this life of the boy mm. I want you to go to the place where this boy lives where do you live mm, see, see yourself there yeah I see uh, I'm by the beach um, and it's like a almost like a straw house mm -hmm. where the top is straw and the side kind of looks like bamboo mm -hmm. um, it's, small, it's small like a almost like the size of a tent but a little taller and a little slimmer mm -hmm. how do you get inside of this uh, there's no door it just there's like a <coughs> opening mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, you just walk in. Mm -hmm. So let's go inside and see what's there. What do you see in there? I see a like a red, like a burgundy carpet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's like a lamp or like a candle. Or... What else do you see? It's just like little trinkets I can't make out. Just little things here and there. Mm -hmm. um, I don't see like a bed, but just like cloth to sleep on, kind of. Mm -hmm. How do you, how old do you feel now in that place? Same. 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 And now look down and see if your body has changed or if it looks any different. It hasn't. Okay. So let's find out. How you got to this place. I want you to close the scene and let's see how you got to this place, where your origin is from. And tell me where you are. What do you see? First thing I saw was that I was in, in space, like on a ship. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. Uh, there's a bunch of other, I'd say, people like me mm -hmm. on the ship. Um, um, the hallways look like long but curved slightly. Mm -hmm. And I see like some older people than me like walking around, but no one's like talking to me. I'm just like watching. Mm -hmm. How do you feel on this ship? I just feel like a... There's so much going on, but I don't understand it. Mm -hmm. I want you to connect with these people mind to mind, telepathically. And let's find out where they're going and what the mission is. I asked one of them where we're going and they said that we're home. Mm -hmm. Is this ship home? No. Mm -hmm. We arrived home. We arrived home. Okay. Mm -hmm. So let's see what this place is. Where is home? Um, I'm seeing the that same beach mm -hmm. with the hut. Use your mind to connect to this place and tell me if this home has a name, this planet. It's not coming to me. Mm -hmm. See if you can see this planet from space. 
as you would see it from the ship. It doesn't look like there's any cities. It kind of mm -hmm. looks like a big island. Like a big island. Right? But the whole planet is like that. Mm -hmm. Good. So let's go back to that beach and see what happens next to you. What do you do? Um, I'm spinning, like to look around, mm -hmm. but I don't see anybody. Do you feel you're there by yourself? Yeah. Mm -hmm. like, I don't know if something happened to everyone else, but I feel like I'm uh, the only one there. Mm -hmm. Do you feel that you were abandoned there, or do you survive there? What does it feel like? It feels more like I survive, like. Mm -hmm. Not that I was left, but mm -hmm. that I'm the only one left. Okay, let's find out what happened to your people. I want you to go to the moment right before something happened to your people. Tell me what it is. The first thing I see is like there was a crash on the ship. Mm -hmm. But I'm not sure. Um, like if there's a gap between... Like, I don't see the ship landing. Mm -hmm. I just wake up mm -hmm. in the forest. Yes. What feelings are you getting? What emotions do you feel in this place? I'm confused. Mm -hmm. So let's continue with your life and let's go to another significant event in that lifetime. Close that scene behind you and open it up to another significant event. What happens? I'm back on the ship and uh, I feel like there's I'm in a room mm -hmm. and there's more people there like it's my family mm -hmm. and I feel like it's my birthday on on the ship. Good. What happens on your birthday? Well, there's like food, like a cake. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm laughing and everyone's smiling. Take a look at your family. Look at their eyes and tell me if you recognize any of them in the life of Joseph. The tallest one, I can't tell if it's a woman or a man, but the eyes remind me of my mom. Mm-hmm. Do you have any gender in this place? I'm not sure. I, I feel like a boy. Mm-hmm. But n no one really has distinguishing features. Mm-hmm. No one has hair. Mm-hmm. Um, what color is their skin? Blue as well. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I just, I can't tell she, or I'm, the eyes of my mom, mm -hmm. she's wearing like a suit, um, like a, like a jumpsuit. Mm -hmm. um, and like if she works on the ship. Okay. And she's there and there's like three or four other, uh, like kids with me. Mm -hmm. uh, I can't tell if they're family or, or just friends, but they're as well sitting on the sides of the table. Mm -hmm. And I just, I'm seeing them like, like a two second, like lapse of them smiling. Like if I'm just remembering them. Mm -hmm. Good. What emotions are you getting from this scene? I feel happy, mm -hmm. but also sad. Why is that? Because it feels like they're not there anymore. Like I lost them. Mm -hmm. Do you feel this is a memory? I do. Mm -hmm. 
So let's find out what happens next. Close that scene and let's go to another scene in that same lifetime. Where are you? I'm back on the island. Mm -hmm. But I'm a little older. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe like 10. Mm -hmm. uh, I got like a some sort of spear in my hand and I'm like chasing a food mm -hmm. what are you chasing I can't make it out but I'm like running through the forest mm -hmm. do you feel like you've improved on your skills yes mm -hmm. it doesn't feel like I'm a boy anymore so let's Fast forward that scene to see what it is that you're chasing. Mm -hmm. What is it? It kind of looks like a like a gray horse, like a light gray horse. Mm -hmm. Anything unusual about this horse? I, I, I don't think it's a horse. Mm -hmm. I'm not seeing the whole body of it. I'm just seeing like the hide of it. It's got yeah. strong legs. Yes. And a, and a tail like a horse, but I, I feel like it's not, like it's shorter, like it's not as long. Mm-hmm. But I can't see the front of it. Is this animal for your food? I think so. Mm -hmm. So let's see if you catch this animal. I don't think I do. Mm -hmm. I think he got away. All right. So let's close that scene now. Let's go to another scene in that same lifetime. Keep going and see what's happening now that's significant. I'm seeing another, another blue person. Mm -hmm. um, like if uh, I'm still on the beach, but now there's, I feel like it's a woman. Mm -hmm. um, like somehow she found me. Mm -hmm. And I want to say we're a couple, but I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. How old do you feel there? I feel like I'm in my later teens. Mm hmm. How does she feel to you? Like... Like savior, kind of, but mm -hmm. not that she's taking me away from there. Mm -hmm. More that she's living there with me now. Okay. And so I'm not alone in, on the island. Mm -hmm. Good. Look at her eyes and see if you recognize this woman in your life now. I don't. Okay, I don't very like good. All right. So let's close that scene and let's now continue. You're older now. Tell me what's happening that's significant. I'm sitting on a log. Mm -hmm. And the beach is in front of me. And it's nighttime. And there's a fire in front of me, like a campfire. Mm-hmm. But um, there's no one else there again. And it feels like I have facial hair. No hair on the top of my head, but I'm an older man at this point. Mm -hmm. 
What color is this facial hair? It's gray. Mm -hmm. And I feel stronger physically. Mm -hmm. Like I'm very well built. I'm crying on the log. Tell me what you're crying about. It seems just like at that point, there's no hope of like getting saved. I'm trapped there. Mm -hmm. Like I went through this life with hope, but at that point, I have my head down, mm -hmm. and I'm, and the tears are just flowing out. What happens next? I'm looking out into the stars. Like I'm standing up and I'm looking. Mm -hmm. What do you think about when you look at these stars? Like I want to go home. Mm -hmm. Maybe that, uh, that planet wasn't home. Mm -hmm. All right, so now let's go to the last day of your life in that lifetime. See yourself on the last day. And tell me what's going on there. I'm in the hut and I'm, I'm laying up. And I'm just looking at like the ceiling of the hut and the straw. Mm -hmm. And I can hear the ocean. It's the daytime. Mm -hmm. How old do you feel there? I don't feel much older than where I was by the campfire. Mm -hmm. What are you thinking about as you're lying there? I'm actually laughing. Hmm. It feels like I'm thinking of the, like this would happen to me. Mm -hmm. And and then I sigh. I, I just take like a, a deep breath. Mm -hmm. Let's see what happens to your soul. As you transition out of that body, where do you go? Describe everything as it happens. Um, it feels like I'm just being pulled up. Mm -hmm. um, I don't see a body, just kind of like, like a bluish white air, mm -hmm. but in the shape of a body. And I'm being pulled up almost as if uh, someone's me pulling me by my hip mm -hmm. upward. So my arms and like legs are dangling back, and I'm going fast. Mm -hmm. What do you see around you? It it doesn't look like. Forms. It looks like light passing by really fast. Like mm -hmm. any particular color. It's more like just a streak. Just like blues and whites. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. Now I feel like I'm in like a room of all white. Mm -hmm. Like very bright, um, almost just like if I'm on a ship again, mm -hmm. but I'm sitting on the metal floor, mm -hmm. and I'm still in this like bluish white form. Mm -hmm. uh, it's like air, kind of. Yes. And uh, I'm sitting uh, with my head to my knees. Mm -hmm. and my arms like around my knees I'm, like I'm, I'm waiting but I don't know for what mm -hmm. 
like for someone to come in. Yes. So let's see what happens, who comes in. Someone that kind of looks like me as far as the form, but they're taller. Mm-hmm. And it's a like goldish white hair. Mm-hmm. And they like sticking out their hand. What do you do? Like I get up and I, I walk towards them, and it, I want to say he, mm-hmm. but there's no. There's no face, there's no, no fingers, gender. nothing. It's just almost like a bathroom sign of a male, you know, mm-hmm. like that. Uh, but he puts his arm around me and we walk through. I want to say the door, but there's no door. We just walk into light. It's like everything is just white, but mm-hmm. there's no door. We just walk into it. What's the significance of this place? Use your knowing. It feels like I, like, not that that was God, but like I've gone to, like, the other side. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So as you're standing in this white light, what do you feel from it? I don't feel, I mean, when I was sitting, I didn't feel anything Mm -hmm. from the light. But it felt like, uh, almost like, well, okay, that's over. How do you feel now? I feel better. Like, the gold guy cheered me up. Mm Mm-hmm. What did he tell you? There were no words. Mm -hmm. He just put his arm around me and it felt better. Mm -hmm. So let's see what happens now. Where do you go after this? Well, the first thing I saw was like a huge, huge... uh, All right, we're in the forest, but it doesn't feel like the forest is surrounding us. Mm-hmm. It feels like we're at like a, a ledge looking out to like beautiful scenery mm-hmm. and like an oasis, like it feels like paradise, but there's a whole bunch of animals. What is this place? I don't know. It feels like like he took me to another planet. Mm -hmm. But everything seems okay here. Mm -hmm. It just feels good. Take a look at your body and see if it's changed. Mm, It hasn't. Mm -hmm. It seems like we're observing. Mm Mm-hmm. Let's find out why. Connect with this being telepathically, mind to mind. His thoughts will be yours. Let's find out what he's doing with you there. I asked why we are here, and he said, you must see. Mm-hmm. What, do you, what do you need to see? I don't it seems like he's showing me like the beauty of life. Yes. Like this this beauty there. Is he preparing you for something? Giving you a lesson? It seems that way. Mm-hmm. Let's find out what the intention of this lesson is. 
Why are you being shown this beautiful scenery? He says so that I can be ready. Mm-hmm. Let's find out what it is that you're being prepared for. He said to move on. Mm-hmm. for like it seems like to prepare me for my next life mm -hmm. so let's find out what this next life is all about I would like for you to go to the time when you are with your counsel preparing for the next life I can't tell how, how long I'm with him mm-hmm but now I'm in a place where it's snow. It's mm -hmm. a blizzard, like a bad blizzard. Mm -hmm. And I can't make out anything. Like it's, it's just a wasteland of snow. Mm -hmm. What's the purpose of seeing this? He didn't answer. I asked, but he didn't answer. I want you to go deep inside of yourself where you know the answers. What is the lesson he's teaching you about this blizzard? What's your interpretation of it? I'm thinking that the place for the blizzard was once or it was used to be the place that was paradise mm -hmm. and now it's paradise but it used to be the blizzard mm -hmm. I guess to show me that like things don't always stay bad mm -hmm. good let's see what he sh what you're being shown next to prepare for the next life. I feel like me and him are sitting at a table and we're holding hands, like both hands across the table. Mm -hmm. What's happening here? I feel like he's sharing information with me, but time is going by really fast. Mm -hmm. So like we stay there for a very long time. Let's find out what some of this information is that's being given to you. It feels like it's going straight from his body into mine. Mm -hmm. Like light is just going from his body to mine. I don't know what it means, like what the information is, though. Mm -hmm. Does it make you feel any different? I feel like wiser, like he's been my teacher. Mm -hmm. As you're sitting there at the table, what do you both look like? Uh, he's still gold and I'm still like whitish blue. Mm -hmm. But there's there's no features. It's just around this uh, yes. more long in the head than wide. Mm -hmm. um, but slim. And no hands, just round. Mm -hmm. um, so let's see what happens next after this information has been shared with you open the next scene now the uh we're standing i want to say on clouds but he's he like pats me on the back 
like to push me, nudge me forward. Mm -hmm. And I'm walking into, I can't make it out. It just looks like light, but. I, and then I, like, I stop and I look back and he just waves goodbye. Mm -hmm. And then I keep walking forward and I like disappear. Let's see where you disappear and reappear to. Allow yourself to reappear as the next incarnation. Where are you? I don't see it right now. Mm -hmm. Let's go drifting through time and space. Allow yourself to go drifting through time and space. Getting any information that's needed. What are you picking up? I see myself uh, <laughs> flailing through. I feel like the closest thing I can describe it as is like hyperspeed mm -hmm. <laughs> in like one of those sci-fi shows. Yes. But I'm not in the ship. Mm -hmm. I'm me as in like Joseph. Yes. And my body's like spinning and I'm just going really fast, but I can't tell where. So let's see where you land, where you end up. What's the next scene that you see? And the first thing I saw was a red planet. A red planet? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Kind of looks like Mars. Mm -hmm. But I feel like I'm in a... Like a spacesuit. Mm -hmm. Like a human spacesuit. Yes. Are you male or female? Uh... I want to say I feel like a male, mm -hmm. but I can't tell because I'm wearing a spacesuit. Okay. So let's see what you're doing there. I'm walking around. Uh, it's there's nothing there. It's like a desert. Mm -hmm. But I feel like there's a couple other like astronauts with me. Let's find out. Look around you. I see two on my right and one on my left. Mm -hmm. Are there five of you together? Four. Four. It's me and then three others. Okay. What are you doing there? It seems like we just arrived. Mm -hmm. Like we're we're just standing in a line facing forward. Mm -hmm. Take a look and see what you arrived in. It looks like a like a human space shuttle. It's long and silver. Mm -hmm. Is anybody else on that space shuttle? I don't think so. I think it was we came just us four. Mm -hmm. What's your purpose of being on this planet? I want to say to explore, but I'm not sure. Let's find out. I want you to go back to the scene with, that explains why you're there in this planet and what planet it actually is. I think it is Mars. Mm -hmm. And I feel like we're supposed to retrieve something. Mm -hmm. Let's find out what. Or, or look for something. We're at like a, an edge of like a big canyon. Mm -hmm. Like really, really deep, like thousands of feet deep. Mm -hmm. And... Like we definitely we feel that we have to go down there. 
Can I use the bathroom? Of course. Yeah. I'm going to touch your shoulder in a moment, and then it'll, it'll be your indication to open your eyes. And then when you come back, you'll go even deeper. There. I'm going to go ahead and use the bathroom myself. Okay. And I want you to just use your breath to take you to the same spot that you were. Now tell me where you are. Back, uh, I'm rappelling down the cabin or the cave, not cave, but down like that mountainside. Mm -hmm. What do you see down there? You get to the bottom. There's like a cave. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have a flashlight. Let's see what happens. Do you go inside the cave? Yeah, we all do. Mm -hmm. What emotions are you feeling as you're going in this cave? Just slightly nervous because mm -hmm. it's, it's dark. Yes. Now we're on a different planet. It kind of feels like we're the, f the first. Mm-hmm. Let's see what's in there. I just keep walking and walking through. Mm -hmm. What's in there? Tell me what's what you find. It's just rock, mm -hmm. just red rock. Uh, Focus on the texture of the rock. Do you feel like the rock is dry or humid? And it's, it's like coarse and dusty. Coarse and dusty. Very good. What else do you find? It feels like we're looking for something, like I'm looking back at the other astronauts mm -hmm. and like they're telling me like we've looked like long enough, like it, whatever, whatever it is that we're looking for, it's not here. Mm -hmm. It feels like I'm looking for like a, like a mineral or something. Mm -hmm. um, Go deep inside of yourself into that place where there's the memories and see what it is that you're trying to retrieve. I see myself holding it. Mm -hmm. It's like a gold crystal. A gold crystal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What happens now? I want to say we go back home, but it's almost like... Like a... A feeling like a... Like, no, you're not, like, we're not satisfied with the mission. Mm -hmm. Like, it was, 
not boring, but it wasn't as um, fulfilling as we thought mm -hmm. it would be. What is this gold crystal for? I, I don't know if it's for... I feel like it's for like a piece of technology. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So let's see what happens next. Close that scene. And now go to the next scene, significant in that lifetime. Tell me where you are. I feel like I'm on Earth. Mm-hmm. And now I can see my face. What do you look like? Uh, I'm, a, I'm a ginger. <laughs> But I have a, a thick mustache mm -hmm. and a comb over, mm -hmm. and I'm in my uh, astronaut suit, but not the spacesuit, just the mm -hmm. like the jumpsuit that says NASA. Yes. How old do you feel there? I feel like I'm in like my forties. Mm -hmm. I'm not young. Mm -hmm. Um. I feel like I'm in a room. Uh, the window is glass. Mm -hmm. Not to the outside, but there's an, a bigger room inside. Like if I'm in a factory looking mm -hmm. over, like overseeing it. Yes. Um, and they're like building something. I can see like sparks of like welding and machines and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, is this at NASA? Yeah. Mm hmm. Uh, well, I don't know if to build if I'm in if I'm in NASA, but I'm mm -hmm. in uniform. Yes. And I want to say it looks like a a big weapon, like a huge laser, like almost the size of like a space shuttle, mm -hmm. but it's like a. If I'm I'm thinking it's like a big gun or something. Mm -hmm that's being worked on, some type of weapon. Yes. And I'm in the room, and there's a... I'm looking at, like, papers, but I don't feel good. Mm-hmm. Like, what, what do you feel? Like, we shouldn't be building that weapon. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm angry. Yes. Um... Like, I feel like I, I try to talk to the superiors but and, and have them not go through with it, but they shut me down. Mm -hmm. What is your role in this? I feel like I'm in... Like, I'm also an engineer. Mm -hmm. But I feel like... What I'm feeling is that, like, my work shouldn't be used for this. Yes. Did you come up with something? I think so. Mm -hmm. I think that those were my plans. Mm -hmm. That the weapon was like they used something that I created for that, and I didn't want it to be used for that. Yes. So let's see what happens next. I, I grab the paper and I, I just walk out. Like I leave the building. Mm -hmm. What does this paper have? Just a bunch of words on it. I, mm -hmm. I can't make it out, but it's a, like a memo of some sort. I don't mm -hmm. know. Where do you go to? I, I leave. I feel like I, I go back home. Mm -hmm. I'm like very frustrated. So I want you to go to a place where you live now. What is this place? Uh, I feel like I'm living on a a house on base. Mm-hmm. 
I can see like planes in front of the house mm -hmm. and then a bigger building farther down the line. What does the terrain look like in this place? Um, there's a, it just looks like a big airfield mm -hmm. kind of, um, and I'm on the corner of the street so there's a street going across left to right in front of my front door mm -hmm. and on the left side of my house there's a street going back but there's no going forward that's where like like there's a gate there mm -hmm. and that's where the airfield begins okay mm -hmm. look around you is it a flat or mountainous um it's 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 flat mm -hmm. Where do you feel this place is? What comes to your mind? I feel like it's in the like almost like the middle of nowhere, like a mm -hmm. somewhere deserty. I don't know if it's like Nevada or Arizona or mm -hmm. if it doesn't feel like cold. It kind of just feels like more barren, but it's like yes. in the middle of nowhere. Okay. Who do you live with in your home? Uh, it's it's just me. Okay. All right. Let's close that scene and let's now go to another important scene in that same lifetime. Something very significant, which has affected your life. Go there now. I see your wife and kids. Mm-hmm. I see like a picture mm -hmm. of them. Yes. Um. I'm in uniform, the same jumpsuit in mm -hmm. the picture. Mm -hmm. uh, she's blonde, mm -hmm. slim. Um, she's got like her hair in her ponytail. Mm -hmm. And uh, I've got a daughter and a son about the same age. How old are they? About five or six. Mm -hmm. What do they call you? First thing I got was Jim. Mm -hmm. If I say Jim to you, does that sound right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So Jim, is your wife and kids with you, or are you just there by yourself? They're not. I'm by myself. Mm -hmm. I, I feel like I had to live away from them because of the job. Mm -hmm. What else do you do besides going to different planets? As far as I know, just the working at that facility on the, the project. The mm -hmm. project. So let's see what's significant about this event. What happens now? I don't know. It feels like no one knows. No one knows that we went to another planet. No one knows about the project. So everything is like secret. Mm -hmm. And I feel like I want to share with them, but I can't. Mm -hmm. Like, I want to quit. Can you quit? I don't think I can. I feel like I'm the only one that can, like, stop the project from happening. Why is that? Because it's my work. Mm -hmm. And, like, it seems like no one else sees the problem with having this. This weapon? Yes. Mm -hmm. What does this weapon do? I, I can't tell the caliber of it, but I feel like if this goes through, like, we'll destroy each other, like, the whole planet. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's find out what happens next. Close that scene. Go to the next significant scene in that lifetime. And now I'm in, I'm in like a boardroom mm -hmm. with other like officials and I'm in uniform, but like not the jumpsuit, like actual. Mm -hmm. 
official uniform. Yes. What and color is this uniform? It's green. Mm -hmm. And almost like if I was like a high-ranking officer in the army. But I can't tell if it's the army from... But I'm in an, a room with other military officials. Mm -hmm. And I'm like arguing and like pleading with them t to end it. Like to end everything. At this point, I feel like they tested the weapon, mm -hmm. and it was terrible. What did they test it on? People. Like, they destroyed, uh, I don't know if a country, but a large amount of people they killed. Mm -hmm. And... What does this weapon do? How do you destroy the people? It's, I feel like it's a big laser. Like mm -hmm. a, and... It just wipes everything out. So what happens, Jim? Now we're going back and forth. And it seems like people are like swaying towards my side now because they see like how terrible it is. Mm -hmm. But the guy in charge, he he like, doesn't want to admit that he was wrong. Mm -hmm. What year is this, Jim? I got 2058. Mm -hmm. So what happens now? I feel like I can I I call a vote to override the dead person in charge. Mm -hmm. And I feel like I threaten the guy in charge too. Mm -hmm. like, like, I'm going to do whatever it takes to stop you. But the vote goes in my favor. What does that mean to the project now? That it will be shut down. and that the guy will not be in charge anymore. Very good. So let's see what happens after this. Close that scene, and let's see what the resolution is of this. I'm, I'm in the park with my kids and wife. Mm -hmm. uh, we're having a picnic. Where are you? It feels kind of like Central Park, mm -hmm. but I can't be sure. Uh, we're just sitting on like the picnic blanket and drinking wine, mm -hmm. and the kids are running around playing with each other. How old do you feel there? I feel like it's later on in the same year from the meeting. Mm -hmm. I don't feel significantly older. You in your 40s, 50s? still in my 40s mm -hmm. but I almost feel like because of I feel like I retired mm -hmm. like I walked away from the job after that yes I feel happier mm -hmm. is there anything else of that lifetime that's significant think so very good so let's close that scene close that scene leave that man there to continue on his journey he'll find peace he'll find what he's supposed to find wide and awake feeling wonderful all over <laughs> how do you how do you awesome. feel I feel good yeah. how long do you feel you're on this journey like a, an hour? It's about an hour. About an hour? 15 minutes, yeah. yeah. So, now that you've experienced this, what, that was, you what a journey. Yeah, that was interesting. That was so cool. How did it feel? Um, like I was watching a movie. Mm -hmm. 
I'm just like describing to you the movie that I was watching. It was pretty intense. Yeah. I mean, the last one in the future. Mm -hmm. That one seemed like very important. Like, that was very important. Grave importance. Yes. And uh, I felt myself get a little emotional mm -hmm. um, when it was the birthday party and I was on the ship. That felt like a very important to me and I was very sad. Sad that you weren't there it was like a memory to you. Yeah. Mm hmm and You kind of like gave it up on mm -hmm. the island after nobody came. Yeah. After that. That was sad. Yeah. Do you feel that that's really affecting your life now? How you surround yourself with people? I think so. I, especially when I was younger, I, I hate hated being alone. I would always be around people. Mm hmm Now, so much is not that bad, but there's still times where, you know, you feel lonely if you, you don't mm -hmm. have a lot of people around. Mm-hmm. Um, but now you can understand why. Yeah. Because you spent that lifetime by yourself. Mm -hmm. And you now you understand that's not this lifetime, it's that lifetime. Yeah. It's, it's almost like it's almost like PTSD from that. Yeah. Lifetime. You know, yeah. like don't leave me by myself, you know. Mm -hmm. I know I survived, but it wasn't fun being by myself. Yeah. So it's almost like a boot camp for this one, mm -hmm. you know, of how to really take care of yourself mm -hmm. and manifest. You, you survived. Yeah. So, what do you think about this? You want to share? Awesome. You want to share this session? Uh, yeah, I don't mind sharing it. Yeah, at all. we'll cut out the personal questions. Yeah. but I think the the past life was good. Yeah, I thought that was super cool. Excellent. Let me get you disconnected. All right. So we just had a really nice journey. Yeah, definitely. We're in Elizabeth, New Jersey. Where are you from? Bronx, New York. So you had to travel quite a bit to get here, the yeah. train and everything, and I traveled quite a bit to get here yeah. too. So tell everybody what this experience was like. Uh, for me, it seemed like I was watching a movie. Like I was aware, but I was describing to her what I was seeing. And the more she asked questions, the more I was able to see. Mm -hmm. As it seemed more guided, like I was being guided through the journey and just reporting back what I was, what I was seeing. Um, I just, I, for me, I didn't question it. Just the, I was just, the first things that were coming in, I would just say, and then that, you know, developed as it went on. It was, it was really cool. Like, it is. It was really cool. And, yeah. and especially the one in the future. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that was interesting um, Yeah. because that's not, at least that's not too far from now. <laughs> no, it's not. It's not. And, and what you have to understand is that this is not you as Joseph. This mm -hmm. is another aspect of you right. that's living these lives simultaneously. Right. So people don't understand. We're not just in one body. Right. We're in different bodies in different times. Mm -hmm. So you are living as this little blue boy in space that got mm -hmm. kind of like uh, shipwrecked, you know, mm -hmm. almost like... That something happened to your family and you were just mm -hmm. left by yourself and then then you're in the future mm -hmm. and that was very real to you yeah that was very real you felt very responsible it's yeah. like i created this monster and i gotta stop it right that's, wow. that's what if i felt so much responsibility uh -huh. like I, I couldn't like live with myself if i just like mm -hmm. let that happen now just out of curiosity do you, are you uh, attracted to things from space yeah like I, stories i totally love all that stuff like uh I always like look at the stars and I'm amazed, you know. I just, mm -hmm. yeah. So now you know you're like a star child. Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, my life goal is to go to every country on the planet and then go to space. So that's, <laughs> <laughs> that's Maybe it. Mars to look for that gold, right. gold crystal. <laughs> Maybe that's it. Yeah. You have to change your name though. Yeah. But anyway, so how do you prepare for this? How would you like to tell people how to prepare for a session um, like this? Well, I didn't watch any of the videos so that I wouldn't have any expectations. Um, I just went into it with an open mind mm -hmm. and uh, just listen to her instruction and just have fun with it, you know, and don't mm -hmm. doubt what you're thinking. Just mm -hmm. accept what the thoughts that come in and then just relay them. What would you, what do you think prepared you most today for this session? Because um, I did describe a lot. I of think it. just uh, the most important part that for me to understand was that I was going to be aware. Mm -hmm. I'm aware I'm not like asleep. Right. right. So, you're not sleeping at all. Yeah. If you're asleep, I cannot talk to you. Right. You're somewhere else. So, yeah, you're very aware. Did you hear any noise going by? Yeah, yeah, I heard noise. So, how did that affect you? Uh, it didn't. 
<laughs> it's, it's, it's just background noise. It's just background noise. So that's why some people listen to my videos and they hear all this noise in the background. They're like, oh, I'm afraid I'm going to wake up. Because they're not asleep. They're, mm -hmm. they're there. They're hearing it. But it's like noises in the background. You hear airplanes. Yeah, it's like if you're watching TV and your neighbors are loud. It's like, all right, shut up. I'm trying to focus. But that's more what it was like. It was like, all right, just be quiet so I can <laughs> see this. And we, you even got up to go to the bathroom. We both yeah. went to the bathroom. Mm -hmm. And you were able to put yourself back in that state yeah. yourself. Yeah, I was just breathing deeply. And then uh, it just, right, I was just there. I didn't like, Great. stop. Yeah. Excellent. So yeah. if you would like a session with me, uh, go to albawyman.com, sign up, and hopefully... We'll see each other soon. All right. Bye. <laughs> give me a hug. Give me a hug. Yeah. That's part. Oh, it's good. It's good. Thank you, you did, so much. You did great. Thank you. <laughs>